now look at solving congruences. So a congruence of the form ax equal to b mod m, where m is a positive integer, and a and b are integers, and x is a variable, is known as a linear congruence. And so the idea of this is we want to be able to solve for x. And we're going to do this by multiplying by the inverse. So the inverse of a mod m is an integer a bar, such that a bar a is equal to 1 mod m. So if a and m are relatively prime, with m greater than 1, then the inverse exists. And furthermore, it's unique modulo m. So this is only going to work if a and m are relatively prime to each other, and m is greater than 1. So for example, or not for example, sorry. Since I know that the GCD of a and m is equal to 1, I know that there are integers s and t, such that sa plus tm is equal to 1. So this implies that sa plus tm is equivalent to 1 mod m. So I can mod both sides by m. tm is equivalent to 0 mod m. So we know that sa is equal to 1 mod m. So the inverse of a mod m is s. So let's find an inverse of 101 modulo. 4620. Well, we're going to start to, by finding those Bezois coefficients. So we start to do that by using Euclid's algorithm. So we'll divide 4620 divided by 101 is 45 with the remainder of 75. We'll now do 101 divided by 75, which is 1 with the remainder of 26. 75 divided by 26 is 2 with the remainder of 23. 26 divided by 23 is 1 with the remainder of 3. 23 divided by 3 is 7 with the remainder of 2. And then 3 divided by 2 is 1 with the remainder of 1. And this is what we're looking for, this remainder of 1. We will now solve for the remainders. So I'll start with the bottom. 3 is equal to 1 times 2 plus 1, so we see that 1 is equal to 3 minus 1 times 2. The next one up, 2 is equal to 23 minus 7 times 3. 3 is equal to 26 minus 1 times 23. 23 is equal to 75 minus 2 times 26. 26 is 101 minus 1 times 75. And 75 is 4620 minus 45 times 101. So these are those same equations. And we're going to start at the top now and work our way down. So we can see here that this second equation here has a 2. And so does this equation here. So we're going to change this 2 based on this equation. That gives us 3 minus 1 times 23 minus 7 times 3. Distributing this out, we have a negative 1 times 23, which gives us this term. And then this term here comes from the fact that I have a 3, and when I multiply this out, I have plus 7 times 3. So I have 1 3 and 7 3s, which gives me a total of 8 3s. I can now look at my next equation and see that this is equal to 3, and I have this 3 here. So we'll do another substitution. So I have 8 times 26 minus 1 times 23 minus 1 times 23. So I have 8 times 26, which is this first term. When I multiply out this second term, I have negative 8 times 23 minus 1 times 23. And negative 8 minus 1 gives me negative 9. I can then look and see that my next equation is equal to 23. And I have this 23 here. So we'll do a next substitution. 8 times 26 minus 9 times 75 minus 2 times 26. So we have ne negative 9 times 75, which is this term. My first term here comes from the fact that I had an 8 times 26. And then negative 9 times negative 2 is plus 18. 
times 26 gives me 26 times 26. The next equation is equal to 26, so we'll substitute in the 26. So 26 times 101 minus 1 times 75 minus 9 times 75. So 26 times 101, I also get 26 times negative 1, so negative 26 times 75, minus 9 times 75. So negative 26 minus 9 is negative 35 times 75. My next equation is equal to 75, and I have this 75 here, so we'll do our final substitution. We have 4620 minus 45 times 101. So I see the negative 35 times 4620, and then this term comes from the negative 35 times negative 45, and then adding the 26. So the actual inverse of 101 is the number in front of 101. 1601 is the inverse of 101 mod 4620. I now want to solve a congruence. And like I said, this number, 1601 that I just found has the property that 1601 times 101 mod 4620 is equal to 1. This was the whole point of finding this number is to find 2 that multiply to give us 1. So I have my equation and I can multiply both sides by my inverse 1601. Like I said, 1601 times 101 mod 4620 is 1. On the right, 1601 times 2 is 3202. So I have that x is equal to 3202 mod 4620.